हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी मैक्सवेल्स इक्वेशंस देयर आर फोर इक्वेशंस ऑफ मैक्सवेल्स व्हिच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज मैक्सवेल सेड इफ यू वांट टू समराइज द कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिज्म दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड मैग्नेटिज्म यू जस्ट हैव टू रिमेंबर द फोर लॉज और फोर इक्वेशंस व्हिच आर कलेक्टिवली नोन एज मैक्सवेल्स इक्वेशंस all the concepts all the fundas of electromagnetism are covered in those four equations only so what are those equations number 1 from electrostatics maxwell picked gauss law in electrostatics and this is the first maxwell equation gauss law in electro statics what is gauss law we all know that gauss law is that the surface integral of electrostatic field that is the total electric flux through a closed area is 1 upon epsilon not times the total charge inside that surface for example this is a closed surface and this closed surface contains a charge q then the total electric flux that is the total number of electric field lines which are coming out of the surface if you want to calculate the total flux through this surface you will just divide this q by the value of epsilon not if you want to see this in detail you can you can refer to the lecture of gauss law on this channel right so this was the first maxwell equation from magnetism maxwell picked again the gauss law in magnetism and this is going to be the second maxwell equation gauss law in magnetism simply says that the total magnetic flux that is b dot ds through a closed surface is always zero because if there is a source of magnetic field inside a closed surface then that source must have both north pole and south pole of the same strength because you cannot separate north and south poles from each other north and south both poles exist together in magnetism so if there is a closed surface like this and this surface contains a source of magnetic field then obviously both north and south poles are there so the total number of magnetic field lines which are coming out of this surface due to the north pole is equal to the total number of magnetic field lines which are going into the surface because of the south pole so that net flux not netflix <laughs> it is net flux so if suppose a bar magnet is placed here so magnetic field lines will emerge from north pole and they will go into the south pole and if this is the second magnetic field line which is going out of north pole and coming back into the south pole so if we count each and every magnetic field line we will say that the total number of magnetic field lines which are leaving the surface is equal to the total magnetic field lines which are entering the surface so the net magnetic flux through a closed surface is always zero right this was the second or this is the second maxwells equation okay from the concepts of from the topic of electromagnetic induction maxwell picked faraday law second law first law of faraday does not contain any mathematical equation so faraday's laws law second law of electromagnetic induction electromagnetic induction this is your third maxwell equation okay what is the equation in faraday's second law it says that the emf e is the rate of change of magnetic flux that is minus d phi by dt right this e is emf not electric field emf means the potential difference or the voltage right okay 
we know that what is magnetic flux magnetic flux is simply b dot ds so in place of phi b if we write in class 12 we just have to remember these equations we don't have to use these equations to solve any question these equations are used in their respective chapters but in electromagnetism in in sorry electromagnetic waves chapter these equations are used to explain the concepts of electromagnetic waves so we just have to remember these equations right so phi b can be written as b dot dx ka integral right and we know that electric field or or we should write it v otherwise you will get confused between v and e so this is the potential v right and in electrostatics we have learned that e electric field is minus dv by dr so we can write v as or dv as minus e dot dr right because potential is scalar quantity and e and dr are vectors then obviously dv is the dot product of e and dr so if you will integrate this you are going to get v as this it is the integral of e and dr now if we put this and this in the third equation so this equation becomes the integral of negative of e dot dr is equal to the derivative of with respect to time sorry the derivative of magnetic flux with respect to time right so this is maxwell's third equation right and the fourth equation is the modified maxwell ampere circuital law fourth equation is the modified maxwell ampere circuital law because maxwell modified the ampere circuital law and then that law becomes the modified ampere maxwell circuital law so that is the fourth equation modified or or we can simply write so if we, if if we include maxwell's name and ampere circuital law that means we are talking about the modified form of ampere circuital law so it is called maxwell ampere circuital law and what was that maxwell ampere circuital law which says that b dot dl is equal to mu naught ic which is conduction current plus id which is displacement current and since since displacement current id since displacement current id is epsilon naught into rate of change of electric flux this is the formula for the displacement current so what it becomes it becomes the integral of b dot dl equal to mu naught into ic which is conduction current plus the displacement current which is epsilon naught into the derivative of electric flux with time right so these four equations are called maxwell's equations and these equations are used to summarize the principles concepts and fundas of electromagnetism so these equations are very important in electromagnetic waves chapter you will see how when we are going to study the concepts of electromagnetic waves so i'll meet you in the next lecture till then all the very best